Hey guys, you're here with me, Carl James, for another episode of Carl's Yu-Gi-Oh! Chat. And my special guest is Vinny Gardner, Hi star guys. owner of Mad for Miniatures. Oh yeah. You are. Yeah. Um, in this episode, we're going to talk about the Mad for Miniatures Southwest Championships and YCS Sheffield, which happens in September. The 7th. The 7th. Mm. So, we'll start off by talking about the Southwest Championships. So, what what is it? The... the <laughs> Oh, I know what? what they are. What is it? What is it? I know what they are. Don't worry. Don't worry. Whew. <laughs> oh, I was a bit worried there. <laughs> I was worried. I didn't know if you knew what it was. Of course I know what they are. Okay, cool. Right. So yeah, anyway, they are, um, they're a series of like qualify tournaments, which is followed by a final. And this is like, the final is then... Would you like okay. me? Are you sure you know what it is? I know what they are. Just okay, well, basically. I know what they are. It's, it's a series of three events. Three events that yeah. are followed by the final. Yeah, and the, and the top eight and in each event qualify. Qualify for it. And there's pass the down final... places. Okay, yeah. I was getting to that. Oh, right, sorry. God. And um, the final is det then determines who will be the best in the Southwest. The very best. The very best in the and Southwest. Last year was Mike Masters. Yeah, the winner. Our winner. I was getting to that. Oh, sorry, oh, sorry, sorry. All right. <laughs> Stop talking! <laughs> Alright, we might need to rewind We this might bit. need to rewind this whole bit. So, um, these events, were, they were originally run by Konami, and it was called the Summer Cup. Unfortunately, they stopped it, and Vin decided to run them again, and instead they were called the Southwest Championships. Hmm. And very successful they have been. Yeah. Uh, we, decide, we run two a year, one for the Summer Cup, and one for a Winter Cup. Winter Cup, as Vin said, was won by Mike Masters, who was using Agent at the time. And we've already mentioned how it works. We run three qualifiers. We've passed down places. The 24 players then bail it out in the final to win a £100 gift voucher here, isn't it? That's right, yep. Yep, a uh, trophy. Yep, a trophy and a You get a custom, custom play mat yeah, done custom. by our very own Tim Jones. Yep, they're very nice too. Do you get boosters? Um, or is that just for the rest of it? If there's stuff left over. If there's stuff left over. Yeah, because basically yeah. we take some of the entry money from each entry during the qualifiers yeah. and put it to the final. So, so, so instead of being £5 for a qualifier, it's £8. Then that £3 then goes into to the, the final pot, pot. The final. Yeah, so the more players we get, the bigger the pot at the end. Uh, this year, we're thinking for the final that we might run a sealed deck event for the final as well, just for some practice for the... For the YCS, because obviously... YCS is sealed this year. Um, we've already had one qualifier go, which was a couple of weeks ago. Yep, two weeks ago. Um, the qualifiers for that were Connor Phoenix using Insectors. There had, he is. It's oh. our cameraman. <laughs> uh, Mike Masters with Dragons. Had Josh Pert Pierce with Six Sands. Had um, an Antics player, Mike Pooley, who was with Ooh. Wind Up. Ooh. No, it's all right. <laughs> it's good, it's cool, it's cool. Um, had Callie McMoran who also played Wind Up. Sorry, that was my Cali impression. <laughs> had, um, we had Nathan Pang using Gravekeepers, which was it was quite a good deck. Yeah, that was pretty it was, awesome. It was a pretty awesome deck. It was really stoolie. I think stoolie. He took inspiration from Maurice at the Nationals. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because like, Ryan came back and told him how good it was, and, and Nathan loves Gravekeepers, so he, does, yeah. he wanted to give it a try just to see if it was worth it for Euros. Uh, he yeah. decided no. <laughs> <laughs> um, we also had Lucas Bieler playing Rabbit. And we had Aaron Taylor, who was playing Dark World. Hmm. Don't worry, guys, as we said, there's three. There's still two more left to go. And these are on the 14th of this month, July, and the 18th of August. Uh, so come along, play some games. Do it. Qualify. It's good. Play some final. And the final will be on the 1st of September, the week before YCS Sheffield. So why don't you guys come along and try and be the best in the Southwest? So, guys, that's the... Um, little bit on our Southwest Championships. Now we'll talk a little bit about YCS Sheffield. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so, well this year, like we said, it's gonna be um, seal pack play. So you get, get 10 of the battle pack boosters. This is like the first of its kind, like ever. Anywhere. Anywhere. Well, official. You know. Official one, yeah. You've done them elsewhere, but not official. Yeah, well, you've done it at Can your I locals, mean, you've done an advance, you've done, you know, yeah. you've done a casual, you've done, uh, like, pre-releases before, but yeah. this is this is different. This is YCS, you know, official Konami sealed pack, first of its kind. And, you know, we should be pretty privileged that we've got the first one, you know. Yeah, other um, than those people who are moaning on Facebook and oh, YouTube moany, videos moany, and stuff, seriously. Moaning, moaning. Um, what are you playing at? We're going to talk about why YCS Sheffield is good. Yes. You know, and why, why Battle Pack is good. And like, we know some of you are disappointed because you'd like like an advanced tournament 
and people are saying, you know, we only get one YCS a year. Why is it sealed pack? That's rubbish. I'm going to pull bad. But you know, but really, it's like battle pack is has been structured for this sort of thing. Yeah. It's like you're not really going to pull bad like you could do in a pre-release or something. You're going to pull. Everyone can pull average. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're gonna you're gonna pull a selection of band cards. You're gonna pull, you know, you a change pull, of heart, a ring of destruction. Yeah, some regekis. Yeah, okay. All of those sorts of so, things. Someone, someone might pull two ring of destructions, and and you know, but you know, are they gonna use them properly? We all we all used to play ring of destruction in the day, and you know, we all know the the players that didn't play it correctly. You know, your resources are limited in this format, so. Um, if you're not playing your cards right, you, you're going to lose. So I think sealed deck and, is good. And also, just think it's like in this. This is just after the ban list, isn't it? Yeah, it's also just, just after, after the ban list. So what if you're playing wind up, and, and your wind up and your wind up gets banned, yeah. or you're playing rabbit and rabbit goes to one? Yeah. Or one of the other like big decks get hit, and you're like, oh, I was going to play this for YCS. Now what am I going to do? Yeah. Oh wait, it's sealed pack. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I would be like devastated if I was playtesting for like two months. With my rabbit deck or my wind up deck, and then just and to find your hunter, out your tour guide, your rabbit, yeah. something really important to the deck gets hit, or one gets banned, and you're like, and you find out what great a week. What am I gonna do? A week or two before YCS. It's, it's, it's disaster. Disaster has struck. I'm giving up Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> but, but now you don't need to because you can play sealed deck and then get it all ready for the next time. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm hoping that like we do get at least an advanced tournament. You know, like for a YCS. I wouldn't want to see every single tournament as sealed pack because that's no. All. I mean, ev eventually they might start doing like you play all the way through the rounds with your with your deck, yeah, and then top thirty two you do seal pack. I've, I've heard which I reckon that I reckon that'd be pretty good because it means the top thirty two isn't just oh I've got the best deck I'm gonna win. Yeah, well you can't. It's just more ride your it's deck. More like skilled. Yeah, you can't ride. Your you've got to be able to build a deck on the spot as well. <laughs> you know, I think you know that like getting a good deck like rabbits and wind ups can. You know, sometimes you don't need all the skill in the world to play those decks. As long as you know how the loop works, as long as you know when to summon a Dolka, when to summon a Lagia, you know, uh, you, some of the decks, are, well. they're very linear. You know, you know what's going to happen. Uh, they just they just grind you down and they do exactly the same thing. Whereas I think sealed deck, you know, you have to spot the good cards quickly. Yeah, because you, you, you only get 20 minutes to build your deck. Yeah, you've got, you've got to be able to you've got to be able to read through the cards that you haven't seen before. Or yeah, yeah. And you've yeah. got to be able to pick out the good ones. And you've got to be able to build a good deck. Yeah, you've got combos in there that you need to find. You know, we've been doing quite a lot of sealed play testing recently. Yeah. And there's cards we thought were terrible. And they and actually turns out in sealed pack, they're like the best card you could possibly yeah, I mean, pull. Wingstorm of Etika. Who would have thought that card was good but in seal pack it's amazing it is amazing um so so um we'll just what as well another good thing about this is you get you get a unique playmat just for showing up yep you get a unique playmat for this and if you register a day early you get a special ycs token yeah so so sign up on the friday and go along and then you'll get your special ycs token i think they did them for the YCS in Leipzig, I think you got like a blue eyes white dragon, but we didn't realize and we didn't go and we missed <laughs> out on that. But this this token is just like the YCS symbol on a you know normal gray token. Uh, it looks very nice. Uh, we're not sure what the playmat looks like, um, but we've been told by various sources that it's unique. It's only available at this event, so we're we're pretty convinced it's not the like the battle pack. Um, mm kits, lead kits, we're, we're pretty sure it's a unique yeah. YCS playmat. Not just those like little ones that are like the same size as the ones that you got in the last gold pack. Yeah, so we're... Actually possible. like a proper size map. Um, if we do find out what it is, we'll, we'll probably let you know somehow. Yeah. Um, also, uh, as well as why it's a good idea, people have been saying that it's going to be way too easy to cheat. Oh, people yes. are saying that you can, you can just slide in your own cards to the deck, but it's really not that easy because... Right. There's, well, a, there's a special format they use yeah. for anyone that doesn't know how a sealed deck works and has never been to a sealed deck. Um, it's like Magic the Gathering have been doing it for years. Um, there's really easy ways to stop people cheating. Um, like lots of people have been saying like, oh, you know, I'm going to just add like three tour guides to my deck. But we know yeah. that can't happen because what will happen is you'll get randomly seated at the start of a tournament just like normal. And then you'll be yeah, handed you'll one handed, of these. Uh, you'll be handed the checklist like that. And uh, basically what you have to do is you have a person that registers the deck and then a person who plays the deck. So like for instance, Cole will be given his 10 packs. I'll, I'll open them up like I would normally and then I will register I'll check what, so I'll, whatever I got in my pool. So for example, I got, I don't know, an ad, two Adrius Keep of Armageddon. So he would write, I'll write two, two in the pool. Yeah, and then so on and so, so forth, forth until he's done. And then when he's finished doing that, he will wrap the cards up probably in this. Yep. 
and then the judges will either come around and pick up the cards. Every sealed pack. And then rehand them out randomly. Mm -hmm. So um, adding in your own tour guides, you're just giving away your tour guides, basically. So if you want to do that, I'm quite happy to I'm, take any tour guides yeah, off you. Yeah, I'd be happy to take <laughs> your tour guides off you. Uh, and then basically when this gets rehanded out, so oh, I ended up getting Carl's on a different table. So I would then check through all the cards in the pool, make sure they're all there, check I've got 10 star foils. Uh, and then make sure everything's okay. I register myself as the, the player, and then I register my deck on the other side. So we've got the pool on one side and the deck on the other. And therefore, you know, it's, it's hard for me to cheat. Okay, so make sure you definitely get along to this YCS. Show Konami uh, that you want to support their game, even if you don't necessarily support this format. It's important that we all show like a united front yeah. and you know get along to these events because then we'll in inevitably see more YCSs in the UK. Uh, if everyone's like, oh, I'm not yeah, going. If, yeah, if you, if you don't turn up to this and like there's about a turnout of, I don't know, 300 people. Yeah, maybe for example, less. Maybe, maybe even less than that, the amount of people who have been moaning about it. Why don't you just show up and then get more YCSs in Britain anyway? Yeah. So that we can go to more, more around YCSs. the country instead of having to go to Germany and to Spain and to yeah. Switzerland for it, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and at the end of the day, we get to play Yu-Gi-Oh! And that's the most important yeah. thing, right? Anyway guys, yeah, so hopefully we'll see you all at the YCS. And we'll see you again for some more Carl's Yu-Gi-Oh! chat. Please do subscribe and comment about anything we've talked about this episode so that we can get your feedback and we could we could try and pass it on to Konami. Yeah, if you if you have any questions. If you have any questions or... for them we'll try and pass it on and then we'll we can make always make another video about this and yeah. answer any of those questions. So please do subscribe, comment, like, everything to do with don't YouTube. Don't dislike. Just don't dislike please. It's it's mean. <laughs> Look at that face. <laughs> anyway guys, uh catch you later. Bye. Listen